Thank you, Ed. Uh, I appreciate the invitation. This is a very interesting concept. It's the first time I've given a webinar, um, but I'm kind of liking it. It's, it's pretty nice to be able to talk to a diverse group across a wide geography sitting at my desk. Um, the photo on the uh, opening slide was taken in central Iowa in 2008, um, and it shows something like my early experiences that got me interested in this. Um, I had started with realizing there was a, a wide range of optimal end rates for corn, you know, anything from zero to 300 in the experiments I did in my first years at Missouri uh, out in production fields, and that um, opened my eyes to we need some kind of a diagnostic to help get us in the ballpark. And one of the things I looked at early on was um, aerial photographs, and I hired a small plane with a window above, I mean with a, with a wing above the window, and leaned out and took pictures of our rate experiments to um, relate color to the best end rate. And the second year I was doing that, I saw a lot of landscapes that looked like this picture with yellow corn going across the landscape. And I thought, whoa, we've got a real issue here and a, and a real um, problem to solve. And as, as my thinking has come around to remote sensing is definitely the way to solve this problem. There's some other things that we'll touch on as well, but really uh, dealing with lost nitrogen is the number one thing that I'm going to be covering. <clears throat> so uh, an overview. Um, first thing I mentioned, you know, wide range of nitrogen needs. So why diagnose nitrogen need? I'll show you a little of my work in that area. Uh, why vary nitrogen rate um, going across the field? Why is crop color a good way to do that? And how does remote sensing fit? Uh, nitrogen loss. The, the situations where that happens, and rescue nitrogen applications, how they can be done, how effective they are, and then back to remote sensing to diagnose how much yield is being lost and how much nitrogen should be applied. And um, with all of these, I'm going to be focusing on corn. I think it would certainly apply to other crops as well. Um, the other thing that may apply to some of you who don't get real involved with corn may be remote sensing to guide nitrogen applications in irrigation water. I don't expect we'll have time to actually discuss that today, but I've um, done a handful, maybe a dozen fields this way, and they've been generally quite successful. And uh, the slides are in my presentation that I believe Ed will have up on the course website, so that if that's your interest, you can at least see a little bit about what I've done in that area. <clears throat> 